Hello everyone and welcome back to our medical series. Today we're diving into a topic that's often misunderstood, pneumonia versus pneumonitis. Let's break down the pathophysiology and details of these two respiratory conditions. First, let's understand the basics. Our lungs are vital organs responsible for oxygenating our blood. They consist of airways, bronchioles, and millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. Pneumonia is a common lung infection where the air sacs in one or both lungs become inflamed and filled with fluid or pus. This condition is primarily caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. On the other hand, pneumonitis, also known as interstitial lung disease, refers to inflammation of the lung tissue, particularly the interstitium. Unlike pneumonia, pneumonitis is not primarily due to infection but rather triggered by various factors such as exposure to toxins, allergens, or radiation. Now let's delve deeper into the pathophysiology of each condition. In pneumonia, pathogens like bacteria or viruses invade the lungs, triggering an immune response. This leads to inflammation, causing the air sacs to fill with fluid or pus. As a result, oxygen exchange becomes impaired, leading to symptoms like cough, fever, and difficulty breathing. In pneumonitis, the inflammation primarily affects the interstitium, the space between the air sacs and blood vessels. This inflammation can be triggered by exposure to substances like asbestos, silica dust, or certain medications. Over time, the interstitial tissue becomes scarred, impairing lung function, and leading to symptoms such as shortness of breath and cough. It's important to differentiate between pneumonia and pneumonitis because their treatments and outcomes vary. Pneumonia often requires antibiotics or antiviral medications, while pneumonitis may need corticosteroids or removal of the triggering agent. That wraps up our discussion on pneumonia versus pneumonitis. Remember, both conditions affect the lungs, but understanding their differences is crucial for accurate diagnosis and treatment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to